Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. I have a little girl baby album to share with you. I've used Echo Park's Sweet Baby Girl collection, super adorable collection. And I have a full start to finish on this video that I will play here in a moment. But for those of you who don't like to sit through the whole process of it, I thought I would do a quick flip through. I will have all the measurements and everything like that on the process video, but the album is nine by eight, and I used my Silhouette Cameo to design a lot of this. As you can see, it's a bracket edge that I did design um, in my Silhouette Cameo Studio software. And for the front and back cover, I glued three pieces of the cardstock together, so it gives it a, a thickness for the front and back cover. The inside pages are just one piece. And um, I did use this little onesie that I made dimensional. This cut, this onesie cut is from the online silhouette store along with this little saying it says little miracle and on the front here i have three different layers of the design paper i did bind it with my cinch and on the front i added a couple of the sweetheart blossoms and i added these flowers that come in the collection and a few crystal nouveau drops here is the back it says sweet little one again this is from the collection So this goes through the baby's entire first year and on the left side I did the month and then on the right side is going to be for the photo. So he, I won't go through too much detail because I have all of this in the process um, but this will hold four by six photos. So all these photo mats like the white photo mat is four and an eighth by six and an eighth and then the cardstock colored piece is four and a half by six and a half again giving it the layers to hold a perfect 4x6 photo. So on the front here I used lots of die cuts from the collection that I did double on cardstock like this little safety pin has been doubled so it's strong and same with this and everything has been left open so the mom can slide a photo right underneath. I also have lots of journaling cards that come in the collection. I did use um, mostly the digital collection because I wanted to size these up. Like in the regular collection, which um, I do have, I didn't pull out, but these come in three by four, but I wanted them larger. So I made these uh, four and a half by six and a half. I added a little Wild Orchid Craft lace, a silver filigree corner from Wild Orchid Crafts. I used lots of Crystal Nouveau drops throughout the album. And then I use these little flowers. I don't believe that Wild Orchid Craft has them anymore, these little uh, daisy flowers. Really cute. I thought it went perfect with the collection. This one says, as you can see, welcome little one. I, have, I also used a lot of bows. Here's an open rose. And every single page has a pull-out milestone card behind the photo. So the mom can jot down height, weight, milestones. She can write on the back as well. And that all of those will just slide right behind the photo. These are approximately six and a half by four and three quarters. And it's meant to stick out just so, so you can see the design of it, but it'll slide right behind it. I have this scalloped edge here for month two. Look how soft and pretty the colors are. I added quite a few doilies. I have a little bow here with an open rose and then this small rosette trim from Wild Orchid Crafts. Here's another journaling card. Throughout here I have journaling cards that are 4x6, 4x5, 3x4, and 5x7. And then I have lots of the die cuts that I added to the journaling cards as well. Here's a flat back flower center pearl. All of The back of all my journaling cards I did add journaling lines to them so the mom can jot it down. Look at this cute little hippo. Here it says little princess. Again the milestone card is tucked right behind there. All of God's Grace and One Tiny Face. I have this heart button with some of the little rosettes. Month three, I added some seam binding to it. Here I used an old thing that I had in my stash that I love. It's by CK, CK Success. And it's a little um, mirror that says precious, a little uh, bracket style. Here it says happy baby, some more of the rosette trims, little flowers, another bow with a cabochon to the center. I added some lace and then also a scallop piece behind here. Month four, I have this cute little die cut. It says your first breath took hours away. A bow with a flower center, again from Wild Orchid Crafts. I have this cute little safety pin 
on the binding. And then this is a large 5x7 journaling card. Super cute collection. They have a boy collection as well. On this side, I have some seam binding that's left open, and the flower is attached to that so the mom can slide the photo behind it. This, of course, is left open. It says baby girl, adorable, sweetheart, beautiful. I have some chrysanthemums from Wild Orchid Crafts, a little bit of the silver glitter paper back there, and another little piece of the paper from the collection. Month five, I have another bow with a cabochon to the center, a large doily, another journaling card. I added a scallop border to the side of that journaling card. Here I have some flat back flower trim, again from Wild Orchid Crafts, with this lace tucked behind it, some sweetheart blossoms, a couple of the uh, labels from the collection, this cute little bear with a heart to the center. Month six, I have another one of those little safety pins, and I added some more lace tucked behind here, some of the hearts that come in the collection little 3 by 4 journaling card. Here I just cut a page in half. I did this at 6 and 12 month. And these little cardstock squares are 2 and a half square. So they'll hold a 2 by 2 photo. And then this little label is left open again so the mom can tuck the photos right behind there. Adorable little paper. Backside as well. Another little journaling card. I have this little shaker bottle in here. Behind here I added a scallop. Um, in that green, this gorgeous mint paper, and then two little labels with a brad. Month seven, I have this adorable little scalloped edge label. It says Precious Daughter, this bow with an open rose in the center, and then this scallop piece tucked behind there. I added some seam bone binding, excuse me, to the little uh, tag, added a heart. On the side here, I have a little label that says Precious Memories this cute little bunny, and I added a 3D bow that I had in my stash. I added a few of those throughout, super, super cute. I also designed and added the word sweet here. Again, the milestone card tucks right behind. Month eight, I added some lace and then also made a bow out of that same lace, added a flat back heart, pearl heart from Wild Orchid Crafts. I love the soft colors in this. Here is a little postcard. Journaling on the back, I added a, a scalloped edge here. This cute little bunny. Another little journaling card. Here I added um, this label, again, left open so the mom can tuck the photo. I added some twine around it. It goes around the photo mat. And some more of those same flowers, but I covered the center's up with some pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts. I also added a couple uh, open roses from Wild Orchid Crafts. And then this sweet little heart, which is a button. See a little piece of glue string. There we go. Some more Crystal Nouveau drops. Month nine, I added a little tile that I had. It says princess, some more chrysanthemums. Behind here, I've tucked in a doily. And then month nine, this adorable uh, journaling card. This is a five by seven. Journaling on the back, I added a, a pinked edge here for the border, precious baby. This journaling card. I have some lace tucked behind here with a scalloped edge, a rosette, and then a, a couple more of the labels that come in the collection. This says fresh from heaven. This says eat, play, sleep, and repeat. I have this bow with a uh, diamond center and then some more uh, another one of the doilies tucked over here so the mom can easily add some journaling and photos and then she has a keepsake for the baby's first year for 10 months I have this adorable sheep I added a heart to his back and then a brown scallop piece behind the uh, mile or the 10 month card here's another journaling card I added some more hearts this label here I cut out this little blessed and added that same with this little journaling card, added a scallop edge to both sides there. I love this page here, the, the sheep everywhere. I added some ruffle trim and then also on top of that some rosette trim along with this, this beautiful cut. It says you are so beautiful. On 11 months I added this label that comes in the collection and a bow with a ivory heart to the center. Another doily here two more of the journaling cards. 
so cute. This is a sweet baby. A pearl to the center there. And then this says, again, I designed that. It says precious. Uh, this large label here with this bow, open rose. I added some flat back pearls to this page. For the one year, I added a label into the center. I added a metal piece that says happy birthday, some chrysanthemum flowers. Tucked behind there, it says beauty. I added a pink scallop edge here under the one year. And then here's another little um, journaling card. It says baby's first year. Added a scallop edge and some flowers. Here is another one of the little pink safety pins. And then here's the other um, photo mat that I was saying. This will hold two by two photos. On the side here I have a little onesie. And the very last page, super cute. It has this adorable little kitty cat rosette trim and then baby cut out with two more of those 3D bows. This was so much fun to make. If you'd like, please stay tuned for the start to finish. And I will link down the paper collection that I used down in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. So here are my pieces that I already got ready. I designed these on the Silhouette Cameo. This is my main piece and these are nine by eight with the bracket edge. And I made a matte piece that is eight and five eighths by seven and a half. And that's why it'll give it a nice white border when it's adhered down together. I left a white block in the center just to not waste ink because I knew I was going to be covering it with my photo mats. So this is six and three quarters by four and three quarters and six and an eighth by four and an eighth which will hold a four by six photo perfectly and still show the matting behind it. These two are also six and three fourths by four and three fourths. Just I wanted them to be cohesive with the other side. The milestone cards are six and a half by four and three quarters. And then these are those pages that I added in between. I just basically cut the pages in half. I thought it would add some interest to the album. Here I have lots of different journaling cards, 3x4s, 4x5, 4x6, and 5x7. I did add journaling lines to the back of all of them, so they've been doubled and they're pretty strong. And I have a ton of labels and die cuts and tags. All of these have been doubled, and I, I'm showing you here, I have a lot, because you can see it's a large bowl that these sit in. I like to do all this ahead of time, and that way I can just sit down and put the album together. It makes it fun and quick, and most all the work has been done. I just get to put just put it all together. I've done a lot of it off camera, like this is going to be my, my front piece, but I did leave some of them just to show you how I adhere it down. But most of them you're going to see white blocks in the middle just there's no sense in wasting the ink for them being that i'll be covering it up but i did save the front and back pages just to show you quickly on camera in case you um, wanted to see how that was done for my front and back cover i did glue three pieces of cardstock together to make them sturdy here i'm using some fabric fabri tac it's by beacon and you see i have two bottles there one of them is just the normal bottle that you purchase it, it it gives a thin line of the glue which i like to go around all the edges i want to make sure it's adhered down very well the second bottle i cut the nib of it a little bit so it comes out a lot quicker so i like to use that for the middle it makes it go a little bit quicker and now I'm simply going to adhere that down, leaving myself a white border of cardstock. I love the white with this paper collection. This is a super cute collection. Doing the exact same thing, I'm going around all the edges. I like to make sure it's all the way up to the edge using my fine tip. And then my larger tip, I can quickly get all the glue to the center you can use tape runner as well i like to use wet glue because you can it gives you a minute to move it around get it exactly where you want and if any does seep out the sides with the fabric tack you can simply use a glue era eraser to remove it or just wipe it and it'll come off there's my back cover i added a little label to it and for my front cover i have a couple different layers that i've matted together I have a video, I'll try and remember to link that below, showing more about digital papers. They're so easy to work with and you can customize them however you want. So I'll link that below in the description box and hopefully if you've never worked with digital before, it will be helpful to you. 
So there's my third and last layer. And then I will put that onesie on the front of the cover, but I'll wait and do that to the very end. I like to usually finish my uh, covers very last. So I start pulling my matting out, but I quickly realized here in just a moment that I'm going to need to do the cinch binding. I wanted to show you these two adhering these together. I just go through this really quickly. It's the exact same thing. It's just half the size of the regular pages. I did add the uh, photo mats, the cardstock mats to the center. Those are two and a half inches square. So those will hold a two by two photo and leave a little matting. So like I said, I start pulling out to decide what I was going to put on the first page, but I realized if I'm going to use my cinch, I need to do that first. That way none of my uh, embellishments get in the way of the wire binding. So I already added adhesive behind this mat and then I remembered that I wanted the milestone cards to slip behind it. So to correct that I'm just going to put another piece of paper over it and that way I don't have to worry about the uh, adhesive in the center stopping my card from sliding behind that photo mat. So I pulled that up. I'm going to add my piece of cardstock behind it. That way it covers up that adhesive. And then I'm going to set everything aside. And I did make a little template. I like to make a template. If you're not going to put the holes across the entire back part, you want to go ahead and make a template from some copy paper first. So that makes it super easy for me. And I won't do all this on camera. I'm just going to do a couple of them to show you because I only wanted my holes to be in the middle. I didn't want it to go from top to bottom. Sometimes I like my book to have the rings going all the way across and other times I just want it in the center like this one. So I will do all of these, get all of these ready. I'll do all my little journaling cards, anything that I'm going to add in the center. And now I can go through and add all my embellishments. I'm just kind of centering that milestone card and I'm going to run my bead of glue around the edges adhere that down. I'll let that dry a minute before I put my milestone card back in. That way I don't accidentally glue it shut. So what I like to do is just kind of lay out all my embellishments, which I've done here. I have, if, if I could pull back, you could see my desk is a huge disaster. I have flowers, I have uh, pearls, I have lace trim. It's a disaster, but it's fun to do it that way. You kind of pull everything out, have everything in front of you, and then you can just put it together as you go. That's what's fun about these albums. So I don't think the rest of the video needs any explaining. Um, I will put on some music and I hope you stay tuned for the rest of it. If you have any questions, please do leave me a comment. And I thank you so much for stopping by and hope you enjoy the process of this. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.